Okay, this is yet another in a series of videos I'm making for my site, pfsensesetup.com. This is just a series of instructional videos in which I demonstrate some uh, basic things that you can do with the pfsense firewall. And uh, uh, recently I posted a, a video on the squid proxy, and I actually had some problems with the old squid proxy. So I decided that I'd make another video on uh, installing Squid 3, which is the uh, newer uh, Squid proxy package for PFSense. And just to review some of the reasons why you you might want to use a proxy web or web proxy server, um, these were ubiquitous in the early days of the World Wide Web because uh, routers did not support network address translation and, and proxy servers were really the only means by which computer on your local network could access a web server on the internet because it couldn't be done directly. With the introduction of network address translation on most commercial routers and, con and even, even consumer grade routers, uh, they, the, uh, there was no longer a need for web proxy servers, so they're less common now, but you, you may still want one. Uh, Number one, to cache web pages and to cache files. Uh, number two, set up, if you're a company, you may want to use the seven access control list to block certain websites or allow other, uh, other sites. Um, and number three, you can, you can actually go the other way. And, and if your company blocks certain websites, you could use it, set up your own web proxy on, on your home computer to circumvent that censorship. So it can go either way. And so let's get started here. We're at the login page for our PFSense uh, box. So I'm just going to click on login. And so this will log us into PFSense. Um, and uh, once we do that, we're going to want to go to system packages and uh, let's take a look at that okay and uh, we're at the dashboard here you can see that we have the latest version of uh, PFSense here as of this recording 2.2.3 so we're going to system and, and uh, select packages from the system menu so we'll click on packages and then uh, uh, once that happens I'm going to uh, we're going to select squid 3 and you can see here we're initially on the installed packages tab there's only one package installed bandwidth D so we want to click on available packages and uh, to show us the available packages and this is one of the neat things that I mentioned about uh, the newer version of PFSense is that they actually divide um, the packages up into separate tabs so you can see here there's an all tab and there's also uh, separate tabs for network management security services system and other categories so I'm going to click on other categories here, and uh, you know, Squid is one of the packages under other categories. Um, and uh, we'll be able to select the package from there. Okay, so now we scroll down here, and we should see it. Uh, there's Squid, Squid 3. We also have the older Squid. Um, but we want to install Squid 3, so I'm going to click on the plus button to the right of the entry for Squid 3. And that will enable us to install Squid 3. And now we get this little confirm button here. It says we need to click confirm, press the confirm button, to confirm installation. And there's a cancel button if we want to cancel, but I'm going to click on confirm here. And then the next step is, you know, the installation, which takes 
it 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 seems to take about um ten minutes uh to download and install um squid three so I'm gonna pause the recording and and wait for the installation to complete and you see it's our it's downloading already so uh we'll pause the recording now okay um it looks like the installation uh, is almost complete now yes okay installation completed uh please check to make sure the package is configured took about 10 minutes um well, not not particularly long but uh long enough so that it would have made for a boring video if i had just run it uh kept the video running it and we go to the installed packages tab here and you can see squid 3 is now installed high performance web web proxy cache and what we want to do next is we want to configure uh, squid so we go to the services menu and it'll be listed as proxy server not squid proxy or anything like that so we'll click on proxy server and the first thing you see is your proxy interfaces and we want to select, uh, these are the interfaces of the proxy server will bind to. Uh, we want to select LAN and DMZ in our scenario here. You know, your requirements may be different. And notice also that the proxy port defaults to 3130, not 3128, like the older version of Squid. Um, and then we have a, a, an ICP port, so we can set up a port for ICP queries. I'm going to, just going to leave that blank. Uh, we want to allow users on this interface. We want this this uh, checkbox to be checked, and this will allow the users connected to the interfaces selected in the proxy interfaces drop, uh, box here um, to be allowed to use the proxy. And we won't have to add the interfaces subnet to the list of allowed subnets, so that's good. Um, so we I'm not going to configure any of these other settings here. Under transparent proxy settings, we uh, want this checkbox to be checked to enable transparent mode uh, to forward all requests to destination port 80 without additional configuration. And for our interfaces, again, we want LAN and DMZ to be selected here. And then we scroll down a little bit and we have an interesting setting here. Um, this is, uh, if we check this checkbox, we enable SSL filtering. Now, according to uh, many people, uh, if you set up squid, the squid proxy to filter port 443 traffic, uh, it will break the, it potentially breaks the authentication, uh, the SSL authentication of, of, of a lot of websites. So if you go ahead and enable this then you'll want to be careful and make sure that you you don't do that unless unless it's something unless you don't want people to use you know people on your network to use uh sf https um there might be a reason for that but if you enable it and you do want people to be able to use http uh ssl then you you may have to do further configuration i'm just going to leave it on not enabled in, in this case um, and then we scroll down here for logging settings and uh, if you check this checkbox it'll enable the access log um, if we're using another uh, package like uh, Sarge to generate uh, to analyze the logs we, we're going to need to have logs so you're going to want to check that I'm going to leave it unchecked for now um, and then we have a log store directory that sets the directory for where the logs are kept. We have a log rotate uh, option to define how many days the log, uh, log files will be kept. Um, and then we scroll down here. Oops. Right. Um, yes, yeah, so we scroll down here and there's custom settings. Um, and was there another setting I wanted to cover? Um, they also have a captive portal setting here. Um, 
and I'm not going to cover that in this video, but I may do a video in the future where we show or I show how to how to set up a captive portal page with uh, with with Squid. But anyway, I, um, for now I'm just going to save these settings. And I'm going to save this and that and uh, let's just confirm here that uh, we can still access the internet. And so I'm type this in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to just any website. How about news.google.com? Um, and it looks like we're we can still access the internet. Um, next thing I want to do is we want to go to ACLs. I'm going to click on the ACL tabs here, access control list, and uh, let's set up a blacklist. So let's blacklist. Um, Let's blacklist slash dot dot org. So I'm just going to have one item on the blacklist. So I'm going to save this. And let's try to go to uh, slash dot dot org. And there we go. So I tried to go to slash dot dot org and I got this error message. Now let's make it bigger so it's easier to see. Um, so it says error. The the well, first we see the the squid logo here, and it says error. The requested URL cannot be retrieved. Following error was encountered try, trying to retrieve the URL. Uh, access denied. Um, access control configuration prevents your request from being allowed at this time. So, so it makes it very clear that uh, that you know it was blocked on purpose. Um, and so let's go back here. I'm going to go back to, to PFSense here and the access control list. I'm going to remove slash dot dot org from the blacklist. Or actually, let's, let's, do, let's do one better. Let's, let's, uh, let's add slash, we'll keep it on the blacklist, but we'll add slash dot dot org to the whitelist. And uh, let's see which, which takes precedence, whitelist or blacklist. Um, so we'll save this and I'm going to go back when this saves I'm going to go back to page here okay we're at this the slash dot page where we tried to access slash dot I'll try to reload this and it looks like yes yeah, so the whitelist whitelist uh, item takes precedent over our blacklisted item. So if we we put something on the whitelist and it's on the blacklist, we'll we'll be able to access it. Or so you can see that uh, apparently it uh, it worked. Um. So another another thing. Let's out of curiosity's sake, let's go back to the rules here. I'm gonna go back to the firewall rules, and we did this in a previous uh previous video. I'm going to go to the land tab, and I actually had a block slash dot rule, which I currently have disabled. So let's re-enable it and see what kind of, what happens here. Um, so we want to do, yeah, we'll, we'll set up as, as block, and we'll uncheck the disable this rule checkbox, and we'll just save this. Um, And uh, so, let's do, and then we need to click on Apply Changes. Then we'll go to a separate tab here. I'll type in slash dot dot org. And no, uh, it seems like it's it's uh, loading anyway. So I'm I don't know if it's because it's cached or um, because my rule is not taking effect. So let me just check check to my rule to make sure this taking. So this may be something that I had to look into later on, but apparently um, my block slash dot rule is not 
taking uh, taking effect. But anyway, see you in the next video.